Hello everyone, my name is Dramat and in this video I will talk about 4 general tips that will help you climb easier and faster in season 8. The idea of these tips appeared after I watched my own playstyle for 80 games on my smurf in flex from gold to diamond, most of these games being played in December. Without further introduction, the main talk points for this video will be picks, how to pick right and play right, how many champions you need to know and what to pick, slash mute all command, improving your own playstyle and attitude by avoiding toxicity and excess talking, dodging, when and how to dodge to save the juicy LP, and tilting, how to stop tilting, and how to actually focus on the game more. The first tip is pick right and play right. If you are not on one trick, then play at least 3 or 4 champions for your main role, 2 champions for your secondary and 1 for the other roles. So if you are a mid main like me, you'd have 4 champions for mid that should be related somehow, so it's easier for you. In my case it's Clea, Xerath, Corky and Orianna. The first 3 champions have an ability to roam or to damage at distance and the last one is more for control. If you are a one trick pony, you still need to have two or three champions that you should know how to play for when your main gets picked by the enemy team or banned or you get out of you. High elo one trick players climb fast spamming a champion because they got good with it and understood the basics and some of the advanced strategies of the game. In my opinion, that's the good League of Legends player, but the great League of Legends player is not glued to a champion and will fall once that champion gets nerfed. Remember, you will climb fast with one champion if you master it, but you will need to diversify your champion pool if you want to be considered a great player at higher elo, and it's obviously even more useful if you ever want to play in tournaments and such, because your champion as an OTP will always get banned in any real tournament game because the enemy knows your account and so on, banning just one champion will eliminate you for good. Try to pick the champions that are stronger in the current patch. There are champions that are high up in the win rate that are fairly simple and straightforward and if you are stuck somewhere you can just try something new. I'm thinking here at Annie or Garen for example, watch Jibay99 last video on that, but any other champions can also work just fine. If you pick one of the hardest champions, expect the most work to be done in order to reach his maximum potential, such as Riven's combo or listen in sec ults. I do not recommend an above average champion in difficulty for climbing solo queue unless you are already an OTP on this. You can see statistics by role on multiple sites such as champion.gg where you can sort by win rate but you need to keep also an eye on play rate, but there I recommend the overall ranking system which show the most efficient champs for every role, or you can track down best players from every division on op.gg and see what they play in the current meta. Usually, you will see in the first 20 challengers at least a player for every role. Pro Builds works also great on this subject. Also, use the practice tool. I cannot stress enough on this. It's the most important tool and it's called practice tool for a reason. Go with 2-3 main champs and spam your main combo, such as, in my example, Talia's WEQ or QWE or so on, or flash ults with Orianna or whatever. Then you can also put a bot and practice getting that perfect CS per minute while also sending him back to base without losing CS in between trades. The second tip is the slash mute all command. Avoid your teammates or your own toxicity by using this command at the start of the game. Do not mute pings unless a teammate spams you with troll pings. Tell your team to communicate with pings and to spam multiple pings if someone is missing. There is no point to talk in ranked in League of Legends at all, not with your team, not with the enemy team. You play ranked to improve, not to randomly chit chat or flame. Pings do their work just fine and 90% of the time chat won't be a necessity. If you play with a team, you will probably talk via microphone anyway. Talking is for the post game chat and where sometimes you will find teammates or players from the enemy team flaming each other. Flaming that your eyes has avoided in-game by using the mute command. I've made a post-it note nearby my laptop to remind myself to use this comment at the start of every game and I can assure you my playstyle and attitude have drastically improved and I also tilted far less. The third tip is dodge. If you dodge, you'll get 
3 LP penalty and a 5 minute wait until the next queue, which is infinitely better than losing 20 LP and also getting mad in the process. Don't dodge in series, just ask for someone else to dodge if possible or suck it up. If you dodge in series, you'll have a loss by default. Don't dodge a second time in the same day, because both of the LP and time penalty increase. You can save in a week up to 100 LP if you think it's true. It is recommended to dodge the game when 1. You are having a troll teammate that got mad at whatever and specifies that he will troll. 2. You are having a troll pick in your team, anything that doesn't really work with your current team or is trollish by nature, example clean smite nunu. 3. You are having an extremely bad team comp compared to the enemy, you all have weak bad lanes compared to them or they have a huge protect the ADC combo such as Orianna, Ivern, Lulu, Kogmao and so on. 4. You are having a teammate that you've noticed he wants to play a champion in which he has an awful win rate or he rarely plays it. Or 5. You are on 2nd, 3rd, 4th or 5th role that you can play and the mid laner didn't pass you the main role and if you can afford the dodge, why not? You know you will suck on that roll and chances are in 5 minutes you won't be matched again in the same role. Remember, you can do this once daily and 3 LP is nothing compared to 20. The fourth tip is do not tilt. You die to a gank, that's it. You die 1 vs 1 on lane, that's it. Your team trolls you, you get the point. There is absolutely no need to ruin your mood with a thing that in the next game won't matter. If it did affect you, take a break, do something else and then queue again and get matched with 9 different players. It's that simple. If you are camped by the enemy jungler and die multiple times, ask for help. Learn how to fight the camp and understand that if you died, it means that your lane or champion is abusable. And so, learn to find ways to protect yourself or pick a different champion next time that has the possibility to protect himself. Better to lose 15 CS than give out 3 kills. You can also specify that the first tower is important on chat and see if you garner any reaction or help from your team. Remember, even if your jungler comes to a gank, you can also die 2 vs 1 or 3 vs 2 if you gave at least 2 kills to the enemy mid laner, top laner or ADC. If you are beaten 1 vs 1 by the enemy mid laner once, back off and farm. You can try to fight him later on if you think you'd have the edge, but remember, now chances are even bigger that you will lose. If he's simply better, then you back off farm and wait until your champion shines or go roaming and find yourself some utility to your team. There is absolutely no reason to get mad, sad or pissed about anything in this game. You can always take a break, cool off, do a different activity and come back and win the next one. No need to get mad, flame or ruin your mood for someone that camped your lane, trolled you, afk'd in one of your games and so on. The matchmaking does not work against you. You are matched with people that are averaging around your matchmaking rating and sometimes smurfs. If you think you are above the league you are currently in and play accordingly, you will climb. There is no such thing as elo hell unless you reach your skill level, which can also be improved if you practice, both physically and emotionally. Doing or flexing with multiple people will match you against better opponents, so remember that too. That would be it for now guys, I really hope this video helped you or at least gave you some ideas to try out and let's all kick ass in season 8. See you on the next video and have a great day and a great new year. Goodbye guys.